Right. No, so go ahead, go ahead. I think. I just, I oh, wait, I'm on the wrong. Okay. Oh, that looks good. If I can have that box. Well, there we go. My pencil. Good evening. Wow, we already have people watching. Nice. Um, welcome to, uh, I don't know what we call it, fabric time anymore because we're covering everything else. Tonight we're actually going to do a... It's quilted badly with Brent. Well, we're not quilting tonight. It doesn't though. matter. It's still what it is. <laughs> well, tonight I actually called it Brent's buying guide because we we're going to talk about embroidery machines. But before we get into that, let me introduce Becky. Yeah, see, because you can see yourself right there. Hi, peeps. <laughs> Where do I like? Oh, hi, Pete! I'm looking at myself. What yeah. else is new? Um, because <laughs> we've got a Kimberbell event coming up a week from today, and if you go online, you want to sign up for that. And Becky here is going to be the one in charge of that. Mm -hmm. I would call it a fiasco, but she does a pretty good job, so it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> um, it will be. It so will we got be. that coming up, and she's here to yeah. hawk that. And yep. if you're interested in that, you better sign up sooner than later. It's limited to six seats. Yep. We have provide everything. You just show up. We even have lunch. Yeah. And you just show up. You, you, we, everything's covered. You just come and you get to make all this fun stuff. And I'm just going to toss it over yeah. to you. Everything you... including the machines. Yes. If you have a machine that you just want to work on, feel free to bring it in. But otherwise, Brent has the classroom outfitted with really nice machines. And getting nicer by the day because they keep selling when somebody comes to class. <laughs> which is really cool. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about T for Two. You probably already saw it on the website and all that. I'm going to show some of the products we're making. But let me tell you something. It's not about what we're making. It's about what we're learning, how we're learning to make it. Every one of these products made me go, oh, my gosh, I never thought of that. And I've been sewing for, woo, I don't even want to say since I was 10, I think. So it's, it was really cool to be, have those yaha moments. Um, the first project they do is they call this little cinch bag. And by the way, you don't just get one size, you get four sizes in your CD. This CD is loaded. It has a total of, oh gosh, I think a total of 55 files on it. And it covers all formats of every machine. So don't think that, because we're going to do a class using the brother machine, that, oh my gosh, I got a Janome at home or a Faf at home. <laughs> Great. You're going home with all those designs. You get the designs for every single machine. I'm showing you just a sampling of the different things. So this comes small, medium, large, and jumbo. But the coolest thing about this bag is it is completely lined. You know how you see some of those cinch bags and inside you see the seams and you see the back side of the fabric? Oh, oh, oh see, Tim still Yeah, it. that's all right. It's yeah, complete, work, work. completely lined. And it's done in the hoop. And it's ingenious how it's done in the hoop. I thought, oh, I wish I had thought of that. Something I never, never thought of. But look at this. That's right. No more gift wrapping. And of course, they come in many different styles, but this is the one we'll be making because we're near Halloween. And what did we Halloween? Mean? Oh, I mean Valentine's <laughs> Day. <laughs> oh my gosh. What kind of, what kind of Valentine's you Day know you why? have? Because it's it. candy, candy in there. And then we put a little gift in there and we made it stick out, but you don't have to. And then cinch it up and guess what? You're good to go. And isn't that the cutest thing? All done in the hoop. Really amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Another cute thing that we'll be making is this cute little zippered purse. Now you'll say, oh, what do you do? I know how to make a zippered purse. Well, this one is really cool how it's made, people. Look at that. It, number one, all in the hoop. But we're going to remember to do this. Number one, all in the hoop. But look at the zipper. Look at how beautifully that came out. And I've done zippers in the hoops before, okay? But this technique is just a wee bit different, and it's got some great detail on it. Yeah, i got to stay here, right? Oh, some great wonderful. detail on it. Plus, what do you learn? You learn piecing in the hoop. This one shows you how to do piecing in the hoop. This whole thing is done pieced in the hoop. And so we just use it as a little toolkit here at the shop. I frankly would have put a little wrist strap on it, and we can talk about I how to do that. I was looking for that seam Quite ripper easy. earlier today. I'm like, where'd it go? Oh, it was in the toolkit. Toolkit, I'm just saying. And you know what everybody for. else needs in the toolkit? A little bit of candy. Okay, good to go. Uh, the other thing we're going to be doing is how we're going to be doing this carpet. 
what do you do? What does the card teach us? The card is going to teach us the technique of freestanding lace or patches. These little hearts are actually made completely in the hoop outside of the card. And then they are used as a decorative item on the card. Well, they can be used on anything. Pocket of the jeans, jean jacket lapel. And they're just one item, but it teaches, what does it teach you? It teaches you freestanding lace, and this actually uses mylar, which is kind of fun. Mylar and tool as well. It's pretty cool. I like it. And I dressed it up because, you know, oh, break. Okay, we'll go back to the scene. <laughs> I dressed it up, and if you come to class, we'll give you all the fixings to dress up the inside, too, because I didn't want to have to write anything. So we printed that. Then we have this really cool tea towel, and it is, um, you know, they're fun little gifts. This tea towel is going to teach us applique. Um, oh, I forgot to say, this is even better. We're going to learn how to move our design around in the hoop with this project. I'm trying to keep up with what the things you're going to learn. And this is an applique embroidery project tea towel. Very cute. I actually dropped it, and it's a little dirty, so don't look yeah. in the bag. This is probably my favorite of all favorites. It's called a mug rug. And I love mug rugs specifically for people who are just getting started because you learn a ton. You learn piecing, you learn machine applique, you learn the magic of quilting in the hoop. This one's quilted in the hoop, but if you can see the pretty quilting on there or not, no. I can't catch it. It's got some really pretty quilting yeah. that's done on it, and that's done all in the hoop, too. And then, of course, you know, a beautiful little back as well. So this, this is a really great project for um, anybody, but specifically for people who are looking at their machine going, oh, no, what do I do now? So that's cool. Um, the last thing, they called this a candle mat. I said to myself, I would not put a waxy candle on top of that thing, I would probably stick a vase of flowers on it or a candy dish. Like I even, I like, poor Brent, he hates me. I even thought, see how cute that can be with your little gift on top of it, a trinket box. Yes, you can put a candle on it. I, for one, would not, a fake candle, I'd put a fake candle yeah. on it. I wouldn't put a real candle on it. I'm like, no. Well, regular Halloween, you could put like a skull on it. Yeah, and what does this, yes, could <laughs> you know what this teaches us what does it teach us Becky? this teaches us how no matter how big your hoop is in life it's never big enough and that you always have to learn how to reposition your project and do multiple hoopings we are going to do this project with multiple hoopings use a six by ten hoop that's right baby cakes and look how beautifully it's all lined up that's right you will Oh, Brett, what did you do to me? I was trying to get you, a chat line. <laughs> you trying to get rid of me? No, already? I'm not seeing any comments come up, and it's very, like, quiet. I'm thinking the comments are broke. Oh, are the comments broke? Somebody comment. Let's just yeah. see. I just, don't know. Just say, are the comments broke? Or give us, like, a thumbs up or something. Gee, I, I don't know. Oh. Oh. That's... Oh, I'm talking to myself. I know. Oh, but... well, what else is new? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's broken. Hold on. Oh, well, this is going to teach you, bummer. This is going to teach you how to move your design, uh, your project through. Two, the way you do two separate hoopings on this, and it comes out as perfect as if you had a uh, 12 by 12 hoop, which, of course, we don't. So that's what I really love about it. The other thing that this, that these, um, the CD has on it is all the PDF instructions. You're going to come away with some beautiful instruction packets. Oh, what? Some beautiful instruction packets, and you'll see I I added notes on all of them because <laughs> that's what I do. And I'll share my notes with you through class because there's some things we do a little different to, to, to make my life a little easier, and I'm going to share that with you. But you get all of these as well. Um, we are also going to learn, this is really cool, we are going to learn more than one way, one type of stabilizer. If you are new to embroidery and you are now confused about what stabilizer to use with what project, we are going to use three different ones uh, it, during this two-day two event. And 
help teach you what stabilizer you use for what project and why. So I'm also very excited about that. Um, always, let me look at my cheat sheet. Always, um, once again, bring bring a liter of drinks if you want to, but Brent, well. <laughs> The, the, the liquor store is next door. Yeah, bring your drinks. They are open on Saturday, yeah, so I yeah. suppose. Oh, I know. I know what it was. I know it's beginning something. Brent is giving two big promotions on this event, and I'm very excited about it. One of them is I nicknamed T for Two. If you have somebody you would like to come in and share your seat, now that means you get one machine, one project kit, We'll give them lunch. You don't have to share your lunch. We will up. We will provide lunch. Right? Yes, we will provide okay. lunch. Yeah. Um, but you will be sharing the projects with this person. If you bring a person in to share with, um, you get a twenty-five dollar gift card to Four Pines for bringing a new person into the store or a newbie, I should say. A newbie, yes. A newbie into the and store, and you won't have to pay for the second seat they're going to no, share that's right you're going to share your same, stuff so you don't have to pay for the same price it's the same price for two of you you the main honcho guy is the one who walks away with the kit and the cd and all that good stuff the other one sits beside you and you can share during the day who's doing what and laugh and giggle all you want and just for bringing in a partner in crime you're going to get a $25 gift certificate to use for the store. Yep. T for two, I say. Yep. So it'll be fun. It will. And it'll get kind of, well, will it'll it? get cozy. It will be cozy. It'll be cozy, it'll but be cozy. they're your friends, so it's all right. It's okay. We'll have, we'll have candies. Uh, the other thing is, while you are here during those two-day events, if you take this wonderful class, Brent has offered to give you a 20% discount on everything Kimberville. And that includes anything that we order from the catalog for the event as well. So Whoa. Yeah, they do that anyway. Whoa, so. I didn't know that. Well, if I'm going to order stuff. I might as well order so lots 20, of stuff. So 20% off. So you can see how things are racking up there um, on, on the stuff that you're getting for that for only $1.99. In all honesty, it's it's it sounds a lot when you first hear it, but when you think about what you're going to be doing and what you're going to get in return, it is not. Now, can I toot my horn about the other Kimber Bell product? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Look, yeah, like go Brent ahead. got in yesterday, right? Yeah, uh, yesterday, the day before, yeah. This is hot. They just came out with this. How cool are these? These are adorable little purses, and Brent's also got all the frames. There's like four different frames. Four, two different sizes, yeah. Yes, two Curved different. and squared for the small one, and rectangle and curved for the bigger one. And what do I love? Oh, I think we got comments back. Okay. I love this big one. You know why? My cell phone fits in it. Mm-hmm. You're right. And take a look. I don't know if you can catch how beautiful these frames are. They have little tiny, uh, oh, how do I show them, Brett? Little All right, just a quick, quick note. We got the comments enabled, so I'm seeing it. I know I've just totally threw off your motion. Probably didn't want to see the comments. Anymore. Oh, they're not bad. Yeah. Some people are liking it. See, see, see that see that little hooky hoos? See those little hooky hoos? Oh, hold on, let me focus. You can put chains on these or ribbons or whatever. It doesn't have to be a little class purse, right? You can hang it over like... You know, you're in New York City and you want your hands free. You hang it over your neck. And they are so adorable. Can you see these? Can you see? Can you yeah, see how cute they are? No? Out of focus. All right. Well, yeah. Brent's got a special on these, too. Uh-oh. No, you're fine. Yeah. Is just, it okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Sell it. Brent's got a special on these baby cakes. And I, for what, am going home with it. If, if you buy the CD. I oh, I guess I don't want to do that. If you buy the CD. We will throw in one frame. Your choice. Your choice of frames. Otherwise, the frames are usually ten bucks, and the CD is going to cost you thirty nine ninety five. Frames are nine ninety five. If you come in the store and they're in stock, we'll give them to you. We will order these. Yes. So if this is something you're interested in, we're out of stock. This is a special. We'll run till next week. Till 
Wednesday. Wednesday? Thursday. Let's say Friday. Thursday. Friday? Yeah, it's well, a week. The, yeah, but you see, if we do Friday, then people are going to come to Kimberbell, and not only are they going to get the... The no, no, no. These are these are different. The, then they're going to take the twenty percent off. I know how the game is played because people are going to come and do that to me. Okay, Thursday, people, you don't do things. But like okay, that. well, we'll say to, we'll say till next Friday because it'll give you a week. But if you come to Kimberbell, th that deal is excluded from the twenty percent off because it's already a good. But deal. it kind of comes out the same anyway. Yeah, but so anyway, why are you arguing? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, because if you get free, yeah, whatever. This is really. Y'all know what I'm saying. These are so cool. I wanted to make one uh, today, and I I didn't have the CD, so I'm like, darn it. But they are there's some cute ones on here. And if you're I watching this from afar, this will be available on the website probably oh, tomorrow. Oh. And right that here. deal of the CD in the class, I'll figure out how to get that on there too if it's something. Um. Oh, so just you, yeah, because they have to pick one. Yeah, and then yeah, so I'll figure that out. One, so if you so if you like two different small ones. So if you're like my mother and out in Idaho and you want one of these, and, this, and it's not and there's two different bigger ones, and it's not next week, we'll do that deal for you. In the in the and the I don't know how many are on it. Twelve. Twelve different purses in one, two, three, four different styles and sizes. I don't know. It's a lot. These are fun. You guys will enjoy this. Okay. Is that it? I don't know. This was kind of your spiel. I had a whole different thing planned. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. It's all right. Come in. Come in. We've got we've got stuff that's going to be on the counter for people to pick. They know a reminder of exactly everything that's going to be in this class. And uh, come in. Check out the samples. Ask any questions you want. And I hope to see you all. It's Friday and Saturday. It's Friday what and Saturday. What time does it start? I'm going to say 10. 10. Okay, yes. good. I like 10. <laughs> if you, I think if the official Kimberbell time says 9, but we're going to say 10. Because Becky's never ready at 9. Yeah, and 9 on a Saturday is just crazy time here. And 9 on a Friday would probably be crazy time too. Yeah. So we're going to start at 10, and we're going to go through. I think we should be able to cover it all by 4. Uh, and, I mean, there's only 60 here, so we have a good time. Yeah. And we will have lunch and everything. Like I said, all it's going to cost you is whatever it costs to sign up, which is $199. Mm -hmm. If you want to bring a friend, um, just let me know. Just shoot me a – sign up for it and shoot me a note or give me a call just so I can plan for the lunches. Yeah. Well, uh, and, yeah, we want to make sure we have the chair for them. Yeah. And, well, we'll get chair. We'll figure <laughs> out chairs, yes. But, yes, yeah, so if you want to bring a friend, just let me know, and uh, we'll, we'll plan for that. Sign up today because I want final numbers by Wednesday because yeah. the the – um, the instructor needs her final number. And Leo's, who I guess to make us the lunches, uh, they don't like it when I drop this up, when I drop a bunch of lunches on them on Thursday for Friday morning. Yeah. So if we can, if you yeah. can let me know, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's only six, but still. No, let I, us don't, know I don't like it as an Yeah, so let us know by, by Wednesday. <laughs> Sign up by Wednesday. Yes, that would be awesome. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll pick up my mess now then. All right. Well, you pick up your mess. All I right. will. Thank you. Uh, so anyway, as we're talking about classes, so we have that coming oh, up yeah, next week. Uh, so Kimberbell. The week after that, we've got uh, Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie's doing uh, Tucker University, or I guess it's uh, Design 180. She's got check out the website. There's a picture of what you'll be working on. It's like a split rack. It's a really good. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be great. She uh, Bonnie does a lot. Is a great teacher. It's always a good time with her. And then the week after that, we're going to be doing a cricket class. Mm. The twenty fifth. I think it's the 25th. If, this is all on our website, by the way. If you go to fourpinesquilting.com, click on the calendar, it should all show up. The cricket class has only got two seats left. So it, I haven't even put it out in email yet. So if you're interested in it, sign up sooner than later because that is almost full. I'll tell them. Can I tell them a little bit about what we're yes, going to do? Yes, go Yeah. I'll be doing the cricket class. And you need to come in with your cricket maker because it's going to be a, a using material, not paper. So you have to have a Cricut maker to attend the class and you need to bring it in. You also need to have whatever electronic your device you use to talk to your Cricut maker. You have to bring that in as well. And you have to make sure you can successfully get into Cricut's design center. That's a little piece of software that talks to your Cricut maker. Okay. Those are must haves to make this successful. Beyond that, we are going to be making a special project from beginning to end that will involve cutting the materials on the Cricut Maker, going over how we prep things and everything, even showing you how to modify some stuff. 
we will show you how to take a something that you're getting, say, off a CD or the internet and bring it into the Cricut Design software so you can use it. Because I think that's the biggest thing most people go Whoa! with. So we'll make sure we cover that more than once. We'll do that more than once. And you will walk away with something completed and, of course, a great fun time. Oh, yes. And great Ellen just time. commented that she wasn't going to come to Kimberbell, but now she has to rethink it. You should That was the point. It because it is the, what I, I, I'm going to be honest. When <laughs> Brent said, do you want to teach the Kimberbell class? I looked it up and I went, oh. Because I thought I, I thought I was I was going to teach it, and I was like I could teach it, but then I was like Friday and Saturday somebody comes and wants to buy a machine or well, something. You definitely could teach. Then it. I, yeah, I make mean, a teacher, but then there's so many other things I should be doing that, and Becky's way more fun than me, honestly. Well, I more prepared. I went, She's way more prepared. Than I, I went am. off because I went. Oh, what am I going to learn? You know, I'm all about learning in the social thing. So I said, well, let me check it out further. So I take it home and I start making the samples and I start going. Oh my goodness, I had no idea what I was getting. You have more ribbon than you need for these projects, and they're beautiful ribbons. And you come away with knowledge that seriously, I did not have. And I've been machine applicating and designing and quilting for eons. And there was still something new on every single project. So it's a great bang for the buck really is. Thank you for saying that. And just to show, this is the this is oh, actually yeah. the kit that you're going to be getting. Yeah. And like I said, if you bring a friend, you'll, you know, you like to share it, but this is the kit. So it has everything in here to, um, that's a good open here. I'll do a close up. Yeah. And Danny, if you need a dog sitter, which I see that that's the, oh, uh, that's not what I want. You can't bring a dog as the second person, no, you Danny. Can't. I'm sorry. No fur babies allowed. But, but I know that <laughs> Sarah, Sarah's not working that day. <laughs> She was threatening to come, but you might want oh. to watch your dogs for you, because we do know that Peggy yeah, does like, I or Thor know. likes, Thor does like Stella, so, you know, they could go hang out. You're going to cut that? Yeah, well, I think it, I, it's a great idea to show it off. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess it is. You do. You have to. Every, I, okay. I know. I had to. See, they're, see, they're, they're sealed. They We're are. breaking the seal. I'm so, breaking the seal. So guess who's going to get this one? <laughs> Me. Yes. I'm gonna, well, no, I didn't mean that, but I meant. The silent partner in Four Pines Quilting insists. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but what you get, which is not these kits to come with everything you need. You've got your, um, and they're all labeled. So this tells you, like, this is the kit for the candle mat. Yeah. Yay, candle mat. Yeah. And it, they are, they're very organized. Of course, I'm going to take it up a notch when we open our pack. Yeah. And see, so it's a zipper pouch. So each, each of the, projects come in their own individual kit and then you also get in here all the instructions oh, that go in you can put in a beautiful notebook and be collecting the uh so there's a, the instructions and everything so when you come to class this thing is super organized yes um and a lot of fun and so it'll be a good time and it get, you get a little pin you get you get a pin for every class you attend so i have several several of them now now this if you're so a, if you're a pin collector you get, oh yeah, the early bird pin. There is an early bird pin that you can get if you are a pin collector. And that early bird pin we will give out to the first two people to sign up, or should you give the first three? We'll say the first three. Look at this ribbon. Isn't that beautiful? And there's a lot in it. And then like they give you the mylar and the tool. I mean, literally, this it's so much fun. And what they don't give you, four pines is. We we got everything added. covered. Yes. All the all the threads, guys. You will have a little th that we're making up, and all your stabilizers, and um, you know the things that I went further with. Oop, yeah. The insides of the cards. We so, want uh, so everything's here. Fun. So you just all you have to do is show up. Everything's covered. We've got machines. We have everything. Yeah. yeah. Like I said, we even cover That's lunch, and uh, and there's always candy. And you can see that I really, I really don't need any more candy, but we always have candy. And um, there's a couple raffles. And there's, there's yes, there's prizes. There's also you'll also heard the deal. You're going to get twenty percent off any Kimberbell purchase that yes. day. Yeah. So if you are really want to go hog wild and buy a lot of Kimberbell, you could actually cover the cost of your class. Yeah. By buying a thousand dollars worth of Kimberbell. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, that wasn't good selling. Oh no! You <laughs> <laughs> no, need to do the math. It's a lot I of mean, fun. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Yeah. Okay. All right. So okay. That and the cricket class and bada bing yeah. bada boom. So we've got a lot of class coming up for February. Sign up because we need people in the classes so that we can continue to do classes because it's always coming while we're going through the trouble. Now, I see that we've been going on now for about twenty five minutes. I'm sorry. That's all right. I'm going to ask, that. well, I don't know. I'm probably just going to do this anyway because I started editing these videos that I'm doing. Can I do this? Oh, that's what you figured we're going to do. That's why I'm going to ramble for a few minutes. Okay. Uh, it's because I've started editing because I figure somebody might want to watch this and not put up with me rambling for an hour and just get the meat and potatoes out of it. So I have started trying to edit them. I haven't posted them yet. So if you're watching this later and you want to see in it, uh, uh, the, the pared down version, the one I'm doing, I think was an hour long and I I think I'm going to have it down in about 20 minutes. It's that sad. But my original plan was to do a buying guide on or on embroidery machines. But I see that we've been here for 25 minutes. If you all want, we'll keep going because, like I said, I'm going to edit this down anyway at some point just to do the buying guide bit. But if you're all bored of it, I could probably save this for another time. <laughs> <laughs> and I comment, please. Do it. Okay, yeah. Look at me. Look, at me. <laughs> Look like a bad lady. <laughs> All right. We'll get into the we'll get into the embroidery machines. Now, what I'm, what we're gonna cover with embroidery machines, uh, I'm specifically talking about brother because we're a brother dealer. And this spiel, if you've ever been in the shop and somebody's looking for a machine, you've probably heard me say half of this or all of this a million times. So Brenda, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Uh Wilma, if you're watching, I'm sure you've heard this and same for you, Bev. Yeah, I'm sure. You've heard this spiel, but I'll get, I'm going to put it out there on the internet so everybody can hear it. A couple caveats while we're doing this. I can't give you pricing. It's against the rules for brother for me to put out on the internet what we're charging for machines. I will, I'm going to start from kind of lowest and work our way up to highest. And like I said, this is specific to brother machines. Everything I'm going to show you is probably also pretty close for baby lock machines because the baby lock lineup is very similar uh, to the brother lineup as far as the embroidery goes. Now, the other copy I'm going to give you, because we're talking about embroidery machines, you're like, I want to buy an embroidery machine. So, people come in and want to buy an embroidery machine. And I sell Brothers. And then I'm going to tell you, you've got to buy Brother because it's the greatest machine ever made. Kind of. Things to keep in mind. Shop all brands. You'll enjoy yourself. One thing that we have found over the years of selling machines, we've done classes. I've seen every type of machine come through here. A lot of people come in with Husqvarna's and Vikings, those are the two big ones I see a lot, and they will often upgrade to a brother. Janome's, Janome users will sometimes upgrade as well, but they're not as quick to upgrade as Husqvarna and Vikings on the embroidery. Now, now I don't want to bad talk other machines. All machines are wonderful. Brother has state of the art, and, it's, and everything I say is like I said, it's going to be true for baby lock as well. So if you're watching this from some other place on the other side of the United States, what I always tell is go to your local dealer. If I'm not your local dealer, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Go buy from your local dealer. You can always buy from me. I'm happy to sell to you. But like I said, you, it's kind of like buying a car. Somebody's going to have to support it. So you might as well pay the guy that's going to take care of it when it breaks down. Give him your business to start with. What you're going to run into with some of the other brands on embroidery. Now, all machines, once you get past like $1,000 or $2,000 on a sewing machine side, all sewing machines are fantastic. If you're paying $2,000 for a sewing machine, it's going to be a good machine. doesn't matter the brand. It's kind of like Ford versus Chevy. you got your Berninas. You've got your Brothers. You've got your Elnas. You've got your Janomis. You've got your Husqvarna's. All of those, every one of those companies makes a good, respectable sewing machine. And I will say some of them do some things better than others. Like if you want a stitch regulator, the only company I know that's do, that did it right is Bernina with their optic little thing. Um, every machine's got their pros and cons when it comes to sewing machines. When it comes to embroidery, Brother and Baby Lock are the two that I recommend because they are state-of-the-art technology. Also, their interfaces are the best that I have seen so far. Now, I'm not saying that another company might come along and do better interfaces, but the Brother or Baby Lock interface is very intuitive, very easy to use, very easy to learn. So I usually recommend if you're looking for embroidery, Brother and Baby Lock are the two brands that I highly recommend. You can, like I said, try them all out. I mean, it's like test driving a car, sit down and play with it. But on embroidery, if you're looking for the state of the art, Brother and Baby Lock are where it's at. Sewing machines, if you're talking about sewing machines, it's like I said, it's Chevy versus Ford versus Toyota. They're all going to be fantastic on the high level. 
Um, and feel free to comment at any point because I'm kind of monitoring comments too. And like I said, I don't do this to bash machines. So all that out of the way. Well, that took a whole five minutes. I'm sorry about that ramble. Um, I say um a lot too. That's the other thing. When I'm starting to edit these, I realize that I say um a lot and I do so, so a lot. And I don't know why. And I'm sorry that I subject you all to this. And whenever somebody comes into the shop and says, oh, I watched you on YouTube. I always apologize <laughs> for putting you through this. Okay, so, so see, I just did it again. We're going to start out with the... Don't forget to talk about the needle threader. The needle, oh, the needle threader? Mm -hmm. About a brother being the only one that works? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is, mm -hmm. <laughs> Becky does bring up a valid point. When I, I've had many others. When it comes to machines, and now this is, tr brother's needle threader is the best by far. It actually works like it's supposed to. It actually threads your needle without a whole lot of effort. There is the Brothers, the NS80, the NS40 is advertised. It's a brother. It's advertised as a needle threader. I don't consider that a needle threader. But that is the needle threader you're going to find on 90% of all the other brands is what's on the Brother NS40. It says in the sales literature, it's got a needle threader. I won't sell that machine as a machine with a needle threader because it doesn't work like it should. I mean, it works as a needle threader. If you cross your eye, stick your tongue out, and stand on your left foot on a Tuesday morning, it will thread the needle. But I'll, uh, once you get past the NS80, uh, the NS40 into the NS80 and above machines and a bunch of other models, the needle threaders work fantastic. So the needle threader is huge and it works like it's supposed to. And Becky just told me to remind you of that. Um, so we're going to start out at the bottom of the food chain with embroidery machines. Now I'm going to, oh, no, it's not the button I wanted to push. I'll push. Oh, look at that. So I have all these machines lined up over here. And this is the one we're going to start with. This is your lowly, oh gosh, this is a NS1750D. Uh, this machine here I have on the floor to show you. And I will sell this to somebody that wants one. They're nice little machines. A couple things to keep in mind when you're buying an embroidery machine. You're paying for the, there's two things you're paying for as you go up the chain. You're paying for the hoop size. And you're also be paying for the throat space here. Now, you're, now this is from more with sewing machines. Throat space is important. Embroider machines, hoop size is important. So as you get more expensive, the, these two sizes change along with other features. This machine here is a nice little machine. Why the dealer only model? Because what you have within the brother is there's two, brother does this. Every sewing machine company does this. I think brother, well, you know, we might not. I have to double check that. But brother is the only company that actually keeps their name on their machine when they sell it out on Walmart or at Joann's because the same company that makes your Husqvarna also makes the Singer that you're going to buy uh, at the, the same holding company. So, but brother still stamps their name on their low end machines. And I will admit, I do a lot of repair. We do our warranty center. So we do a lot of sewing machine repair and most of everything that comes through for warranty work and for repair has been bought on Amazon or bought at Joann's or was bought at Walmart or you got it from Sears, but it was a mass market machine. So brother, the one thing as a brother deal I run into is brother has a couple, two tiers. You have the dealer machines and then you have the mass market machines. They're two completely different machines and that's a whole nother segment to get into. And suffice it to say, and so just keep that in mind because this machine here that I'm talking about, this is a dealer only machine, but I would, if you're looking at this machine, if Disney is not important, you can get a very similar machine for less money on Amazon. It might, it depends too which one you get. This one does have a color screen. There are a lot out there, right? The other problem you have with um, Amazon and mass market machines is what you're getting is oftentimes not super clear. It'll have a model number, but some of the features, like if you get like a PE770 or super popular, you'll still see a lot of them out there. But a PE700 PE PE uh, PE is a very old machine, but you're still seeing them on Amazon and people see them. Oh, I can get a five by seven hoop for for six, 600 bucks, that machine, the PE700, has got to be going on about eight years old at, you know, way more than that. So you're oftentimes getting older technology. This machine here, like I said, is the, if we stock this, I do have one. Here. It is a nice machine. I do not often, it, what's nice about it, sewing, embroidery combo, price point is fantastic on it. Limitations are four by four hoop. And that's going to be your biggest limitation, but it does do Disney. So if you'd want a Disney machine, 
this is you got this is kind of the least one that I would think of one less expensive that's embroidery only. Um, that being said, if you're looking at something this size, I would often I wouldn't come for it. I would recommend looking on Amazon. You're going to get a very similar machine, very similar in specs. It's going to function very much the same way. It won't have Disney on it, but you'll still get a four by four hoop. And the price is a, a, the price on Amazon oftentimes is about five is almost better than my cost on a lot of these. So when I'm looking at this particular model and somebody really wants one of these, I'll often say, you know, but I don't have my feelings. You can get that on Amazon and I'll sell this one to you. I, I usually have one or two of these I sell and they'll come, I'll sell that same machine about four times before it's gone permanently because I'll sell it. It'll come back in on trade about six months later because you're going to want to move up in machine. Couple couple downsides to this particular machine. This one, like I said, four by four hoop. But the other thing that you may not consider is the hoop system on here. Those two little latches. That is a, um, that's going to be the system that you're going to see on the Bass Market Machines. And this is uh, in a, on the NS series. This is kind of a pain in the butt to work with. It's not bad, but you see your, I'll show you to you, your hoop just clamps in there and you got to force that over. It's not nearly as easy as the other ones we're going to get into. That's one of the other downsides to it. Biggest thing, like I said, four by four hoop and a small throat. If you're in the market for something like this, like I said, I would, I, not to give my business away, but you can get something very similar on Amazon for um, substantially less than what I normally need to get for it, unless I have one of these come in on. Like I said, when it comes back in on trade, a lot of times I can do a pretty good deal. So not a bad machine. What you're going to find if you're looking for an embroidery machine, you will outgrow this quickly. This is one of those machines you'll outgrow quick, and then you're going to be trading it in. It does make a decent little sewing machine backup. If you buy the sewing and embroidery combo, if you have the embroidery only, you're going to outgrow it. And you're going to want to move on. I don't sell a lot of these. This is not a super popular machine here at the store, probably because I tell people to buy Amazon, but also it's just it's not what you're looking for. It's, it's not going to, it's not going to give you what you want out of, out of an embroidery machine. Any questions before I move on to the next machine? I can dance for a minute. What do you think of your questions? Is it the floss? I don't know. Okay. Moving on. So, like I said, if I was going to say recommend or don't recommend, this is a, I don't recommend this machine. If you're, if you're, if you're buying, like I said, not a bad machine. Uh, you're much better off price-wise to go mass market. Next machine. Is your, this is the NQ3600D, which is the, uh, used to be the 30, it's based on the NQ series, the 30, the 3000 series, the 3500D series. Uh, this is a fantastic machine. Does have a color touch screen, and it's a little bit smaller. This one is going to do. So you've got a nice color touch screen here. Uh, it's not huge. It's bigger than the other one. And um, and the other thing that's nice about this, starting with this series here, your screen here, though it's smaller than more expensive machines, the buttons in the layout are going to be very very similar. So what's nice about that is if you get into one of these, you get into this machine and you move up to another. Uh, to a bigger machine, the is pretty. It's pretty easy to go from here to like a Dream Creator or Dream Weaver, because the screen is just bigger, but the buttons are all the same. So it's very easy to, to kind of move up. Brother has been very good about keeping their their interface uniform across the different the different levels of machines. The other thing is this one's going to do a six by ten hoop. This is a six by ten compared to the four by four, which is the other hoop that the, the first machine I showed you did the four by four, this one does a six by 10. Now there is a machine in between these two that I don't have here and it would fall in the same category as the first one I showed you, it's the 2750. It maxes out at a five by five hoop. And again, you're gonna be able to find similar machines on Amazon, similar, uh, like I said, better price. It's again, not a bad machine. I just sold one the other day, it's, they're, they're not bad. But like I said, I do I recommend them? There's, but for your money, you're much better off stepping up a little bit and getting into a 30, no, I'm not even gonna tell you to buy a 3600D. We're gonna get into that in a minute. But like I said, this one will do a, a six by 10 hoop, which I'll show you here. So that's a six by 10, that's a four by four. Now the five by seven. What you're gonna find too is the five, the six by 10 is a really nice place to be. The five by seven is a, is a good place to start as well. 
But I'm starting to see designers get into bigger and bigger hoops. So this machine here does a, a six by 10. Great machine. This is a great, this is a combo machine. It sews and embroiders. The 3600D sews and embroiders. D means it will do Disney. And I know Disney is important to some people. Like Jocelyn, if you're watching, I know that you like. This one will do Disney. If Disney is not important, I would not recommend this machine. I have one on the floor. Again, I will sell it if you want it. This is a great machine if you want to travel. It's got a decent hoop size, packs up, it sews and embroiders. If you wanted like a, a, ni a, a nice traveling embroider machine and you have like a dream machine or a much more expensive machine, you want something that's similar that you can travel to retreats and stuff with, this is a good machine. If this is gonna be your first embroidery machine, I would not recommend this machine. What I would recommend is this machine, the NQ 1600E paired with a BQ 1350. Now, why might you ask? Because the price on the 3600D, which is a sewing and embroidery combo, is basically these two machines smushed into one. So for a little bit more, about a hundred bucks more, you can get two separate machines. What you want to do, because as you get into embroidery, you're going to notice when you have like a three hour stitch out on your embroidery machine, you're going to want to sew. So if you buy two separate machines, it comes out, like I said, about a hundred bucks more. Like I, said, I can't do pricing with you, but let me just say a 3600D is slightly less expensive than these two separately. And it's not enough like I said, the difference in price, it's so close, it's almost the same that I almost always recommend to buy these two sep these two machines versus the one because you're going to get a very nice sewing machine. This, this machine here, the BQ1350, is probably our best-selling sewing machine. This machine is, if I had to close my shop tomorrow, this is the machine that I would take with me home for a sewing machine. If I was getting to embroidery, of course, I'd want the hot, latest and greatest, but if I want a sewing-only machine, bang for the buck, you cannot go wrong with the BQ1350 piece. Um, was it BQ1350? Fantastic machine. The 13 it was the NQ1300. This whole series is fantastic. It's a very good machine, lots of bang for the buck. But if you're looking at the 3600D, I would recommend instead of that buying a 1400, uh, 1600E and a 1350. They're actually, if you look at these two machines, the plastic, the plastic on the 1400 is the same plastic mold used for the 3600 you can see that they're same the screens are pretty much the same same plastic they just put a blue cover and blue trim on this versus the white cover but you'll also notice this one is embroidery only because it has no feed dogs and i'll show that to you see if you look closely you can see that there are no feed dogs on this machine because it's embroidery only and like i said 3600d i in in Disney Disney designs are not important to you. This is a much better choice. This is also the um, uh, this is kind of the gateway drug into embroidery. This is the machine that I would recommend if you want to get into embroidery and you don't want to sell your firstborn child. Um, this is a good place to start because it's not going to break the bank. But I'm not going to tell you they're cheap. They're still you know good chunk of change. Uh, well, not when I say good chunk of change, relatively speaking, they're fairly inexpensive compared to the other ones. They are, it is going to be more expensive than the first one I showed you, but this is going to have your six by 10 hoop. You've got a bigger display, color display. It's got some nice editing built into it. It acts like a, like you want an embroidery machine to act and, and you'll have a lot of fun with it. And you may, and if you enjoy embroidery, you're going to want to upgrade. And if you bought the two separate machines versus the one machine, you trade this in, keep your, um, your, your sewing machine and you just move up the line. So, so far so good? No questions? Okay. So, when we're talking, this is your entry-level embroidery machine. If you come to me and say, I want to buy so, um, an embroidery machine, this is where I would start. Depending on your budget, you may want to go up or down. If Brenda's here, she will probably talk you into a Dream Machine or Luminaire, which you should buy one. Uh, but the practical side of me says, you know, this is a good place to start. The other nice thing about these, these hold their value fairly well. When if you when you do upgrade from this, I can usually do really well on the trade-in. So you're not losing a lot, you know, because you start trading in like cars and you lose your shirt if you do it too soon. This machine I can usually do all right on the trade-in. So you're not, you know, it doesn't hurt. If you're like, oh, I really like embroider, I want to go up, go up, go up a machine. I we can usually do real well on it. That's why I recommend this as your starter machine. Also, the six by ten hoop opens the door to a lot of bigger designs out there. 
like all your Kimber, most of your Kimberbell, they will work in a four by four or a five by seven, for example. But some of their, but they get into the six by ten is when you really start to see the bigger designs, the better, the better purses and whatnot. So far, so good. Okay, that's forty-five minutes. We're almost there. Sometimes I think I should talk faster. Questions? Any questions? Anybody say, oh, we lost people. We were up to six people. We're down to three. Boring. Uh, but like I said, we will be doing an edited version of this that covers all this probably about 10 minutes. So that's the, this is the entry level machine. This is where I would recommend that you start if you're looking at an embroidered machine. And NQ uh, 1600E, the 1400E, which is the predecessor to this, was also a very good machine. This just got an upgraded, you know, the screen's probably updated, the internal's a little bit updated, but a 1400E versus a 1600E, going to be very similar. A 1400E, you can probably get used for um, less money than it's going to be for 1600E. I do have one coming in on trade because Anne's getting herself a Stellar. So that is uh, something to consider. All right, moving on. If there's no questions, we will keep going. All right. So that's your starting point. Now, the next in the line is going to be your Dream Creator. Oh, they got a fancy new name for it, and they changed it from a Dream Creator. They changed it from the Dream Creator to something else. I can't remember what they're calling it. Instead of being a VM5100, it's a VM5200. This is going to be the mid-level machine. This machine here is a fantastic place to go. I've had ladies that get this. I mean... Most of them have actually upgraded at some point, but you can get this machine and never need another machine. This is kind of a nice place to be if you just want a decent machine and you're not going to, you want a decent machine, you're getting the bigger throat. So like I said, as the throat gets bigger and the hoops get bigger, it gets more expensive. This machine here, out of the box, will do a 7x12 hoop. This is 7x12. This one here is a 6x10. Interesting the way the 6x10 is designed. You don't save a lot of stabilizer by going to the 6x10 over the 7x12, but, you know, it's a whole other conversation. So it's going to go a little bit bigger on the stitch field. So this, this will do a 7x12 or 7x11? 7x12 out of the box is what this machine will do. This machine is upgradable to an 8x12, which is nice. This machine actually came in used, and if you're looking for a machine that has an 8 that's upgraded to 8x12, this does an 8x12. And this is available for a very good price if you want to get into embroidery. But it's, this will do an 8x12. Uh, this can be upgraded to 8x12, starts out as a 7x12. This is a very nice mid-level machine. It's not going to be, um, like I said, price-wise, it's, it's it's getting up there. This is not the machine that uh, I got a car traded in for. But this is a nice machine, like I said. Downside to this machine is it does not have Design Center. Design Center is a is a, strong, is a super awesome editing tool that is on your Dream Machines and your and your um, Luminaire. Well, not the Dream Machine anymore, the Stellaire and the Luminaire. This does not have that. If you just want to download patterns to stitch out and a and an eight by twelve is uh, eight by twelve because it's well upgraded eight by twelve is a big enough hoop for you. You'll always be happy with this machine. This is a great little machine. People do upgrade though because they want the bigger hoop. But for the price, for the money, this is a fairly practical machine. I. So I've sold these. What I find a lot of times is I don't like right now. I haven't sold a lot of these recently because I've got dream machines coming in on trade that are very similar in price to these new and you get a whole lot more bang for the buck at that point with the trade in. So these haven't had a lot of um, sale. The essence, that's what they're calling this now. Haven't had a lot of um, movement on these currently because there's such a uh, I have such a inventory of used dream machines that for what this caught what this machine would go for new you can usually get yourself into a dream machine, which is a really nice upgrade. So, like I said, Max is out at a uh, 8x12, great little machine. This one, I do have ladies that start here because this hits your budget. This is a good budget machine. And again, I can usually do all right on the trade-in with this one, but it's still going to be still, because it's a more expensive machine and that margin is a little bit bigger, when you do trade-in, you are going to lose more on this than you would on the 1600. But, like I said, this is also a machine that, you may never trade in. This is this is this is high enough in the in the food chain of embroidered machines that you'll be happy with this. All right, we'll keep going. We'll press on. It's only we've only been in this for forty nine minutes. We'll hit a good even hour, and like I said, at some point we'll edit it down, and you can all be excited about that. All right, moving on. The next machine. Um, now the problem is I was hoping that my shipment came in because I have some stuff I have a, a couple Stellaires on order and didn't so I'm gonna have to show you the dream machine 
Dream Machine is the predecessor to the Stellaire. There is a video that I did a few, about a month ago now, I think a couple months ago. Anyway, there is a video, if you look, compares the Stellaire to the Dream Machine. Technically, the tech specs are pretty similar because, oh, I forgot to show you the difference. Here's the 8x12 that you can upgrade to. Upgrade to an 8x12 from the 7x12. So you see there's not a huge difference, but that... That, it doesn't look like a big difference, but that extra inch is nice because they make an 8x8 eight eight square. They don't make a 7x7 seven seven square. So if you can do the 8x12, eight by you can do the 8x8 eight eight square. So when you upgrade that Dream Creator, that, that extra inch is really nice because of the square hoop that you can, that, that's available for it. This one here, the Dream Machine, or the Stellar now as it's going to be, does the 9.5x14. So you can see that that's significantly bigger. This machine, if you have... If you're watching this tonight to think, I have a dream machine. Should I upgrade to a Stellaire or a Luminaire? I'm going to say depends, but nine out of, well, I'm going to say nine out of, yes. It's a nice upgrade. The Luminaire is a lot quieter. What the dream machine, but what's nice about the dream machine is you've got the camera in it. The new Stellaire does not have that. So they don't make the dream machine anymore. If you want the built-in camera and you don't want to go all the way to Luminaire, you'll have to find a dream machine on the used market, which if you're looking for that, you're in luck, because I have like five of them. I've got four of them. I'm willing to sell. I have five of them, but one of them has like 57 million stitches on it. Yes, 57 million stitches. And that's going to be a classroom machine, just because that's a lot of love. Uh, I do have one that came just came in on trade that doesn't even have a million stitches. It's got like 600,000 stitches, which is like, Imagine buying a used car that only had 12,000 miles on it. That's what that machine is like. 600,000 stitches is nothing on an embroidery machine. I've got one of them. So if you're looking for a dream machine, I've got some in stock, really good price, really good shape. They don't make it anymore. They have the Stellaire, which do doesn't have the built-in camera. Still a great machine. Depends how you're using it. I haven't played a lot with it. I do like it. It's six to one half. Another, like I said, there's a whole, I have a whole other video dedicated to that. Big thing to keep in mind is you get the bigger hoop on this one. And you also have Design Center. Design Center is awesome. It's a, a fantastic editing software where you can import, say, clip art. You can download something off a, a clip art photo off of the internet, bring it into your machine, and turn it into an embroidery pattern. You can do some really interesting stuff in Design Center, and it starts at the Stellaire model. And that's a really, like I said, that's a fantastic feature, and that's if you, somebody wants to play and really get into it, that is, I know a lot of ladies that have this haven't really gotten into that yet, but it's a feature that's there. You, that's that's really nice. And the Dream Machine has it, the Stellaire, which replaced the Dream Machine has it, and then, of course, the Luminaire is going to have it. Now, like I said, the question a lot of you have is, like, I have a Dream Machine. Should I upgrade to the Stellaire? If you have a Dream Machine, upgrading to the Stellaire I don't think is necessary. If you've got a Dream Machine, you'll be happy with your Dream Machine. You don't need a Stellaire. If you have a dream machine, you want to go to the Luminaire, which is the step up, which I don't have on the table. It just does a giant hoop, and there's a bunch of other things, and I should, that should, I'm should i going to do a whole video on that itself. If you do, if you are in the market for the best for the best, the Luminaire is the way to go. It's a fantastic machine. I love the thing. It's a great machine. The dream machine, like I said, if you have a dream machine, you don't need to upgrade to a Stellar. I wouldn't, if that's my personal opinion, but like everybody's opinion, take it for what it's worth. If you have a dream machine, you think about a Luminaire, you may want to make that change. The Luminaire is, is, is quieter. You've got a bigger hoop on the Luminaire. Uh, it's got some other features that are really nice. But keep in mind, if you have a dream machine and you haven't gotten into the advanced features, if you're not doing a lot, if you're not doing a lot with your, um, if you haven't used your big hoop, say more than twice in the last year, you, 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 if you're not using this a lot, why do you need a bigger hoop? The other thing, if you haven't done much with, say, Design Center, if you're not doing a lot with the advanced features on your Dream Machine, going from that to the Luminaire may be overkill for you. So it just, it just really depends on your level of use of the machine. If you're really one of those power users and really taking full advantage of the machine, then you will love the Luminaire. If you're just scratching the surface of the Dream Machine, keep the Dream Machine for a few more years. Really get into that stuff. And then upgrade, I would I would say wait maybe two. If you're in a dream machine now and you're really just kind of dipping your toe in the water, wait a couple more years and then upgrade because the dream machine is a fantastic machine and there's no need to upgrade if you're not using it to its fullest ability quite yet. But there is a step above that when you're ready to go. So that's my buying guide.
Don't buy anything less than the NQ 1400, uh, 1600E. I keep saying 14 because I sold a lot of 14s and then that turned into the 16. Anything less than the 1600E, you can, if you're not at that level, you're going to be all right buying it on Amazon. And I'm not going to trash Amazon machines. They will work, but you're probably going to um, outgrow that machine very quickly. Like I said, the first one I showed you, fine, fine little machine. I'll, you come in here, I'll be happy to sell it to you. I will sell you any machine you want to buy. These are the machines that I recommend buying. I would start with the 1400, the 1600E. The 3600D is a nice machine. It has its purpose, like I said, for a travel machine and stuff. But if you don't need the dual functionality of that machine, you're much better off with a 14 with a 1600E and a 1350 sewing machine because it's that machine just split apart. That's a much better buy. Much you get more out of it that way. And then, like I said, you got that middle ground of the Dream Creator, the, the VM5200 now, or the Essence, which isn't a bad machine, but you may, like I said, right now it's a hard sell because there is a lot of Dream machines in the used market coming in about that same price point, so you can get a lot more uh, machine for your money that way. And a lot of times, too, once you're at that level, if you're contemplating that kind of money on a machine, you might as well just go a little bit more and get into the Stellar or Luminaire. And I have now rambled for almost an hour. Like I said, keep um, subscribe to our channel, like and subscribe, because I will be editing these down to a much more manageable presentation so that you can share it with your friends, I suppose. I don't know why you want to share that. I don't know. But you can, because then I'll be famous. Who wants to be famous? I don't. So anyway, that's the um, that's what we got going on. Don't forget classes. We've got Kimberbell next week. Sign up for that, please, by Wednesday, so that we can get the food and everything set for that. And if you bring a friend with you, let us know that they're coming so we can make sure that we have a lunch for them and you will get a $25 credit, uh, store credit. And then we also have uh, Bonnie's uh, Design School, which is a lot of fun. She goes over the different uh, Tucker uh, Studio 180 tools and how to do quilts with them. So she's working in the design phase. So that's a lot of fun. And Bonnie is a lot of fun. She's a great teacher. And then the week after that, we've got the Cricut on a Saturday. And then oh, we also have shortcuts coming up tomorrow, which if you're watching this now, you probably already know that we have that tomorrow. If not, you should probably get in bed, get some rest because you've got to come back in here and do some sewing tomorrow. So we've got shortcuts coming up tomorrow. And I know that we also the third, third Saturday again in March. I forget the date. That's also going to, we're going to be doing the studio class again. We've got a couple other things coming up. I've got February pretty much full on the calendar, which is a good thing because that starts tomorrow. And I'll have March filled out here soon enough. And please, if you want to see if you want to see classes, come to the classes and let us know what you're looking for for classes so that we can get them on the schedule. If people aren't signing up for classes, it's kind of like, well, I'm going through all this ha headache to uh, schedule them out and try and get people excited about them. So, that being said, and I've rambled long enough, and it's late, and I should probably go home, but I got a big mess to clean up before tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for watching. And so long and good night, I guess. Look, we almost had an hour. I could ramble for another two minutes and we could hit a good clean hour, but I don't want to do that to you. All. And it's been kind of quiet. Nobody else is watching. It's just you, Danny. Just night. Night, Danny. Who else is up there? Since we've got four people. Is there any way for I can tell who it is? I can't see who it is. Oh, restore chat. Okay, yeah, restore it. I don't know. Anyway. Thanks for watching. We will see you all. Hopefully we'll see you all sooner than later.